um yep we are definitely in july now and i guess i gotta talk about the months don't i but the monthly holidays in july i should probably go back to that website page and pull it up i know some weekly holidays and obviously the fourth is july but you know it's actually um dog days of summer which is july 3rd to august 11th i think this was the last one uh, it's also cell phone courtesy month i'm looking at this list now i knew it was cell phone courtesy month but i didn't know it was national hot dog month july is national hot dog month guys great delicious hot dogs <laughs> anyways um it's also picnic month and you have watermelon month you have things like that so some food months i think it's unmonthly month for weddings so don't get married in july and if you did happy anniversary <laughs> I saying all that though. It's also supposed to be National Anti-Boredom Month, and trust me, I'm surrounded with a to-do list of stuff, so I, I can't be bored this month. Anyways, um, that's supposed to be for the summer, obviously, because some kids are coming off the school routines, and they're gonna be, like, super bored, so you gotta find a summer camp routine. All of June, they can do their thing, but in July, you gotta get them to camp or something, so it's Anti-Boredom Month, okay? Um, it's also, you know, National Grilling Month for the 4th of July. It's also, um, I think it's a food area, but it's Park and Recreation. That, that's pretty cool. As the weekly events go, it doesn't look like there's a lot of holiday insights. I can always get you bored. I don't have more to Just saying, I think I'm going to not talk about week two, which is something to do with them not having clothes in your body. Go, go to the website page, you don't know what I'm talking about. And then it's also Capture the Sunset, which is the third full week in July. And um, that sounds really beautiful. It's pretty cool. Capture the Sunset. I'm going to go to that and talk about it just a little bit. Uh, let's see here. We are on July 1st. The sun is put on a dazzling display in shades of yellow, red, orange, and purple. For sunset? Purple's in the sunset. Well, I guess the sky is blue, right? Why is the sky blue? Why is the sky blue? Anyways, it is captured the sunset, so you should go ahead and take some photography pictures of the sunset since you got a longer day than summer. And since the days are getting warmer anyways, we might start seeing that in the winter. Let's hope not, because we don't want to see a sunset like that in the winter. Let's just appreciate what we have for seasons, okay? And if you don't live in a part of the world where there are seasons, maybe. It's a joke. It's a one-off joke on that. Uh, but you could move. It's always preference, of course. Just appreciate the fact that we have seasons wherever you live. I want to just announce it since I have already on my page, what, a year ago since I was in the morning? But, I mean, technically it never dies, okay? Just gotta appreciate the fact that he was a great person. He still is an amazing person to And, yeah. I'm recording this on the seventh day, but I just want to put that in there. And it's also I me mean, watching his older videos, just getting to know him a little bit more. So I have to watch the videos originally. Just uh, some inspiration to look up to as well. I mean, everywhere is inspiration for him. That's idol or something. Anyways, it's Canada Day slash Dominion Day, observed on the following day if uh, July 1st falls on a Sunday. Now, I don't know what Dominion Day is, but Canada Day seems like it's probably going to celebrate the place. Unless I'm just stupid and Dominion is a place too. It's also Creative Ice Cream Flavors Day. And yes, you can combine chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla on one mix and also add some blueberry sprinkles on top. Blueberry sprinkles, do those exist? I think blueberry sprinkles exist, I don't really know. But July 1st is the day to combine ice cream flavors and eat It's also International Cherry Pit Spitting Day. Cherry Pit Spitting Day. First Saturday of the month. So, looks like July 1st was a Saturday, and it does check out with my math in the calendar head. It's also International Chicken Wing Day. So I guess Cherry Pit Spitting Day was like a, a food holiday as well. Uh, looks like it was, yes. And it's also International Jokes Day. Joke Day. Joke and Joking. Maybe not knock-knock jokes, but just jokes in general. Oh, cherry spitting as a knife. You can spit out the seed, the little cherry stem on top. That's pretty cool. Okay. See, with jokes, I've actually been practicing anti-jokes. Like, um, you know the chicken cross the road? Well, why did the chicken cross the road? It's the other side. Um. Stop pulling from charge. It's super. You know what I'm 
Okay, the way is quite a part. Da 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 Hey! No, that was not. That was a good one. But after the fact that it not being that good, it's just supposed to make on it, I should do something. <laughs> I should do stand-up on it. I figure out what I can do with this. Um, it's also International Shows Day. The National Post. Um, National Post. Thank you for all postal workers out there, seriously. You're all doing an amazing job. And for anyone who doesn't really believe in their own job or doesn't exactly like what they do, I mean, they do it out of you. Because you really don't appreciate what they do. But sometimes you just know you serve a space for this. Do some community work. And again, that kind of stuff, actually. July 2nd, go to Scarecrow Day. Now, this is pretty inspirational because everybody needs a Scarecrow to their back. <laughs> what am I saying right now? I mean, you gotta have a garden in this scene. You need a Scarecrow up and see if the clothes are stuck on them. Uh, I don't think there's a lot of clothes that I live, but there are birds that can be in the middle. I think they're brave enough to go and destroy them. And then there's the gnats. And then there's the gnats. So, I'm just gonna leave it at that. It's also I Forgot Day. And I forgot what that holiday was about, so I'm um, moving on. It's also World UFO Day. What does UFO stand for again? I forgot. I feel like there was another holiday on here, but I forgot about what that holiday was about. It's also World UFO Day. Or did I ever say that? I forgot. Unidentified flying... No. Un unopened... Flabbergasted... No. Unopened flying... Obtuse angle. Unidentified... Flying object... July 3rd, and I think mirror as in like mirror opposite, polar opposite, or maybe it even means like some kind of dating. I could double check that for sure. It's also Disobedience Day, so please don't be disobedient on Disobedience Day unless you're supposed to be disobedient on Disobedience Day. Just even if there's a holiday that literally says be disobedient, let's let's be good people. We don't need to do something like that. Not for any reason anyway. Maybe it's if it's for a joke, like uh your mom says go to the dishes and I'm just like, okay, I'll do them eventually. Or something else like that. But I mean it can't be a permanent disobedience, especially after these 24 hours are up. And that was July 3rd. Eat beans day is where we are right now. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean at least I can't smell the gas from the other end. Until they and you know, until they invent 4D cameras, in which case that's going to be a very scary day when I can smell you guys on the other end. Please worry. Um it's also stay out of the sun day. And I think that legitimately means go inside at more points in time. Now I'm looking back at this now too. Yeah, that's all it's saying is saying stay inside. Compliment your mirror wasn't about your partner or another person you love. It literally meant compliment yourself in the mirror. Which is beautiful and motivational actually. Guys, gals, walk up to a mirror, stand, look at yourself firmly in the eye and say, I love that guy. I love that girl sitting right in it right there that is an amazing individual 